डियर स्टूडेंट फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ ई कंटेंट प्रोवाइडेड बाय एम एस बी टी ई डेट इज महाराष्ट्र स्टेट बोर्ड ऑफ टेक्निकल एजुकेशन टूडेज सब्जेक्ट ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ऑन एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज कोर्स कोड इज टू टू फोर फोर सेवन द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज यूनिट नंबर थ्री that is ecosystem and biodiversity the relevant co that is course outcome is conserve ecosystem and biodiversity the related lo that is learning outcome desired from this is list the levels of biodiversity it's me mr anant phuljele लेक्चरर गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटेक्निक नागपुर वॉट वी विल लर्न टूडे द एजेंडा पॉइंट आर गिवन एज डेफिनेशन ऑफ बायोडायवर्सिटी एंड डिफरंट लेवल्स ऑफ बायोडायवर्सिटी नाउ टू स्टार्ट विथ दिस इज द कंसेप्ट मैप विच डिनोट्स द डिफरंट लेवल्स ऑफ बायोडायवर्सिटी this can be enumerated as genetic biodiversity species the biodiversity and ecosystem biodiversity now we shall start with the definition of biodiversity now bio means life and diversity means variety so biodiversity is the variety and variability among all groups of living organisms and the ecosystem in which they occur it can be defined as follows biological diverse diversity or biodiversity is that part of nature which includes the differences in genes among the individual of a species the variety and richness of all the plants and animals species at different scales in space locality in a region in the country and in the whole world and various types of ecosystems both terren terrestrial and aquatic within a def defined area biodiversity is generally described in terms of its three fundamental and hierarchically related levels of biological organisms these levels are genetic diversity species diversity and ecosystem diversity here the examples of genetic biodiversity species biodiversity and ecosystem biodiversity has been given in this picture now we shall discuss all these levels of biodiversity one by one first one is genetic biodiversity genetic diversity includes the genetic variations within species both among geographically separated populations and among individuals within single population example can be given as variety of rice teakwood dog etc each member of any animal or plant species differs widely from other individuals in its genetic makeup because of the large number of combinations possible in the genes that give every individual specific characteristics thus for example each human being is very different from all others this genetic variability is essential for a healthy breeding population of a species this example can be given as the human beings found in china mongolia africa red indians all are different due to their genetic variations here different species of dogs are shown 
Second level of biodiversity is species diversity. Species includes full range of species from microorganisms to giants and mammoth varieties of plants and animals. For example, single celled, vi celled viruses and bacteria, etc., and multicellular plants, animals, and fungi. Plant species examples can be given as apple, mango, grapes, etc. Animal species can be given as lion, tiger, elephant, cow, rat, etc. Natural undisturbed tropical forest have a much greater species richness than plantations developed by the forest department for timber. Naturally grown forests have a wide range of plants and animal species, whereas the plantation done by human being artificially can have only a few species. At present, conservation scientists have been able to identify and categorize about 1.8 million species on the earth. Here in this picture, a number of species that exist on the surface of earth have been given. Ecosystem diversity. It provides variations in the biological communities in which species live, exist and interact. Example is river ecosystem, forest ecosystem, desert ecosystem, etc. They have their own peculiar arrangement. There are a large variety of different ecosystems on earth which have their own complement of distinctive interlinked species based on the differences in the habitat. India is exceptionally rich in its ecosystem diversity due to that we are very fortunate. Now here different ecosystems are, pick, are given in picture form. Desert ecosystem, this is grassland ecosystem, bushland ecosystem, coniferous forest, tropical rainforest and this is the tundra ecosystem. Now ecosystem diversity can be again classified as alpha diversity, beta diversity and gamma biodiversity. Now alpha diversity refers to a group of organisms interacting and competing for the same resources or sharing the same environment. For example, in this ecosystem X, okay. So it is sharing the same ecosystem. All these four species A, B, C and D, all four species are sharing and interacting in the same ecosystem X. Okay. So alpha diversity is equal to variety of species in one ecosystem. Here there are four species, so alpha will be equal to four. Beta diversity refers to the expression of diversity between habitats. For example, in ecosystem X and in ecosystem Y. Okay, there are two ecosystem. Okay, and it has the overlapping species in the form of D and E. Okay, so beta diversity can be calculated as only uncommon species varieties in two adjacent ecosystems. So these X and Y are two adjacent ecosystems and uncommon species variety we have to calculate. So uncommon is A, B, C in X ecosystem, F, G, H in Y ecosystem. So 3 and 3 makes 6. So beta will be equal to 6. Okay. So while calculating beta diversity, we have we don't have to consider the overlapping species. Then gamma diversity, it refers to the landscape diversity or diversity of habitats within a landscape 
or a region. For example, in ecosystem X, Y, and Z, okay, all uncommon species and common species are considered only ones. Uncommon species have to be considered ones, and common species have to be considered one, and then they have to be added together to get gamma diversity. So uncommon species in X ecosystem are two A and C. Uncommon species in ecosystem Y are three I, J, and K. And similarly in ecosystem Z, uncommon species are three E, F, and G. Okay. So two and three five plus three is equal to eight. So uncommon are eight. Then common species are considered only ones. So B is common to this X and Z ecosystem. H is common to this Z and Y ecosystem, and L is common to X and Y ecosystem. So this makes three. Okay. So eight and three makes eleven. And D is the species which is common to all these three X, Y, Z ecosystem. Okay. So so eleven and one is equal to twelve. Okay. So like like this, we have to calculate the gamma diversity. Now we have come to the end of this present discussion. So we can summarize as to what we have studied. So we have studied first definition of biodiversity, then levels of biodiversity as genetic biodiversity, species biodiversity, and ecosystem biodiversity. And towards the end, we have studied also alpha, beta, and gamma diversity calculations. Now here, some standard books references have been given for your further studies. Thank you all. Have a nice day.